Joshi, hi. hi. Good hi. night, Good girl. <laughs> Good evening. How are you today? I'm so tired, teacher. Tired. I got a day. Yes, I, I got a terrible day today. Really? Oh my God. I know. I'm so tired too. Yes, I was, it was stressful. It was really stressful. You got a, many uh, difficult calls today? Uh, yes, there was a back to back terrible. Ooh. I just got terrible, <laughs> terrible customer. I was oh. escalator. Let me just compare one, two, three, four times. But four times me, for the same customer or for different customers? Different kinds of customers, yes. Okay. So there was a, one of my normal day today. Oh my God. I'm glad that it's at the end. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, yeah, today also I was back to back as well. I was like, oof, tick. and one of our assistants gets like stuck. <laughs> and I was like, no way. Yeah, so I, I, I know what kind of customers you have and I know how you feel, girl. I know, definitely I know that. But how, but it, you don't have any headache, nothing? No. No. Okay, no. take a deep breath. Drink uh, or the, the, the beverage that you prefer. And move forward. Tomorrow will be another day. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, it, it's not easy to handle this kind of customers, but we gotta deal with them. <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we were discussing Fernando, Blanky, Andresito, and William with Joshi that she it was not a really easy day for her today. Uh, she got um, a really angry customers. She was escalated four times, she said. And uh, basically, um, it was a back-to-back -back calls today. How many calls have did you take, Joshi? Today, did you count it or not really? <laughs> not really, but when I see my handle time, I appear. It appeared that I got. Uh, I remember that was sixty-four at uh, four p.m. But my shift is ends at six p.m. So I don't know, but it was back to back. Well, maybe you ended up until with 80, right? Could be. No. No. 60, 60 like or that. 60 yeah. something. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it depends on how long the call lasts, right? Yeah, it depends on that. Mm. I am a driver. I don't know if you know uh, what does it mean, a driver, that I got to straight to the point. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Oh my that is God. one of my issues because uh, I need to suppose the big rapport with. More the customer, the customer, but I try to follow, but it's difficult for me. I of, speak really fast. Yeah, of course, there's our skills that we need to develop. Don't, don't worry about that. Yeah, that you're you're going to develop it. Yeah, step by step. Yeah, but is you're doing fine. That's cool. That's cool. If you have improved, you should be proud of yourself. Even a little improvement counts. Hey, and talking about that, guys, I have a bunch of questions for you today. <laughs> and everybody's like, what? Did you why you're we well, would like to start with a bunch of questions? Come on. Yeah, I know what maybe it would be like a, a different questions or crazy questions. I don't know. You choose. Uh let me double check. I'm thinking about a number from one to seven. Tell me one number, Josuecito. Welcome. Number five. Close, but no. <laughs> Andresito, a number, please. Number eight. No, I said from one to seven, Andresito. Uh -huh. Number four. Yeah, you were the lucky one. <laughs> All righty. Thank you. But turn on your camera, please. I want to see your beautiful face. Okay. Tell me something. Would you rather have a missing finger or um, an extra toe? Extra toe? Uh huh. Why? No. What does it mean? Uh, you know what toes are? You don't know what toes are, guys? No? Okay. The toes are the fingers of our feet. Um, ah, uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, would you rather have would you rather uh, have a missing finger or an extra toe? Mm. 
It's a really interesting extra, word. Extra, extra talk. Extra talk. Why? Because it's better to have more than less. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Say it. Yes, yes. It's no, better. say the it's phrase. Better. It's better to have more than less. It's better to have more than less. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Let me ask uh, another co worker. Mr. William, have you already finished your, uh, your dinner or not yet? Mr. William only appears his background, but I think he's like preparing his beverage. What do you think, guys? That's what I think so. Uh huh. Let's see. In the meantime, Fernandito, welcome to the jungle. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Uh, would you rather uh, eat your favorite meal for every a uh, for every meal? That means for every time or for the rest of your life, or never be able to eat your favorite meal again? uh maybe mm, never eat my favorite meal again because uh -huh. with with uh with the the time i will be boring with that food uh-huh you will get bored right yes. uh-huh but that does not apply to the salutaris one right never <laughs> into your entire life no way <laughs> okay william finally you appear and he is, aha, uh -huh, where have you been, my friend? Huh. I was eating. Ah, you know what? I thought that. So I told your, your classmate, he was supposed, he, I think he was doing two things or preparing his beverage or eating something. But did you finish? Yes. Ah, okay, already. cool. All right, so that's good. Let me ask a quick question. Would you rather be poor and happy or rich and unhappy? Um, That's an interesting question, right? Poor and happy. Why? I don't know, but... I don't know. You should know. <laughs> poor and happy. Of course. Um, because uh, if you want money, but you're not happy, or you don't have the people around you, you makes me happy. Uh huh. That's why. Ah, okay. So the life is not worth it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's an interesting. Oh my God, how philosophical you are. You're like Socrates. So, oh, yeah. So deep, my friend. So deep. Yeah, deep, deep. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. All right. Josecito, now is your turn, my man. Let me ask you a quick question. Um, would you rather find your soulmate or find a billion dollars and never find your soulmate? <laughs> Teacher, what type of questions? <laughs> Interesting questions, you see. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's really it's a, it's a difficult it's question, difficult right? Difficult decision. Why is a difficult decision, Jose? Because Cito? money. Uh, help in every in many ways to have the happiness with money you can help a lot of people and do many things uh -huh. but can you buy with money your soulmate mm, maybe not but it's for that reason is a it's a it's difficult to have that decision uh -huh. because imagine someone approach to you just because your money yeah. Is, I don't think it's going to be a sincere. Would you like to have that kind of persons nearby that is looking no. just for you when you when they need you? No, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a tough decision, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I guess it would be better to find a, a soulmate. Um, a soul, yeah, soulmate. A soulmate, happy and poor, right, William? <laughs> And never eat your favorite meal for your lifetime, <laughs> like Mr. Fernando said. Okay, cool. Joshi, now I want to hear your opinion. Yes, tell me. Okay. Um, would you rather speak all languages fluently or be able to speak to animals? Of course, speak 
all the language fluently. Uh -huh. I knew it. You don't want to be like Mr. Dr. Doolittle. No, I want to hey, speak Have you seen that movie, Dr. Doolittle? Yeah. Yeah, I love it because I love I animals. speak so many languages. I can get a very good job. <laughs> ah, yes, of course, definitely. <laughs> but right. with animals, no, it will just show some uh, like an ability back. Uh huh. It will doesn't provide me money, I guess. <laughs> of course, I do understand. And and let me see who else. Let's see. I'm between Francisco, Blanqui, and Madeline. Blanqui, are you there? Blanqui. Blanqui. I don't know. Maybe she's not there. Uh huh. What about you, Madeline? Are you there for me or Kenya? Hello, Ma me. Madeline. Okay. Madeline, let me ask a quick question and I want your opinion about that. Would you rather lose your wallet? Or lose your keys. Uh, my wallet. Why? I, I did. I don't understand. I didn't understand the first. The, the question: Would you rather? Would you rather lose your wallet or your keys? Rather. Yeah, you you I know what that know. means? No. That that means que preferirías? Ah. Uh -huh. Lose your wallet or you lose your keys? My keys. Your keys, why? Because I will have another another keys, my mom, maybe. A copy of that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh -huh. and, but with my wallet, I didn't have a copy or I, I have to do different uh -huh. things for... For, uh -huh. so for what? Them. For what? To take them <laughs> again. Uh, to recover. Recover. Okay. Ah, okay. Very okay. good. Excellent. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, Madeline. Francisco. Yes, teacher. My, oh, thank you so much. She's so gentle. <laughs> Would you rather have a car or a house? A house. Why? Uh, it's more important how a house that a that a car. But why is not more important? Uh, for me, because I have a, well, the house is a special place where you came to press mm -hmm. every day. However, in the car, obviously you can have two more mobility, but it's no time indispensable. I don't know, how do you say? How do you say that in English? How you say tan indispensable? Uh, it's not bitter. It's not bitter, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. okay. Yes, it's not we can say that. Exactly. Come from matata. Exactly. Very good job. That, that's that's, that's a, an idiom that I always love. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Now, let me ask you something. Let's see. Doris, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class. Uh, let me ask you. Good evening. Uh, I'm I keep on asking really crazy questions. Would you rather? You know what would you rather means? Yes. Okay. So let me ask you. Would you rather uh, live um, in a cold place or in a hot place? In a in a what place or or cold or hot place? Ah, uh, eh. Uh, Hot. Why? Why? It, uh, when there is a cold, very cold, it's uh, difficult. Ah. Uh, difficult, uh -huh. uh, the, 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 the weather. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, the, last, the last Christmas, uh -huh. I was in Germany. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Pura leca, pura suera, pura leggings, oh, four, four, four pair of socks. <laughs> yeah, and you still feel freezing, right? Yes. Uh huh. I know. Really, no. It's really, really cold. Right. Yeah. 
So in that case, you prefer a hot weather or a tropical weather? Yeah, uh, so tropical. Ah, okay. Erwin, thank you, Doris. Erwin, let me ask you a quick question. Yes, teacher. Would you rather be a blonde or black color? For me? Yes, of course. Oops, uh, teacher, I'm a blonde. I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I like. You love but your blondie? Yes, I like. Because oh, all, the time I, just... all the time I saw this that kind of color in my head. In my, in my ah, head. so you have oh. never uh, thought to change your, your hair color? Mm. I never, in my mind. Okay, never. Okay, no, I'm just asking. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Erwin. And let's see the last one. Kenya. Hi, Kenny. Kenny. Kenya, 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 Kenya. Hello, sorry. Hello. No, that's okay. Not a problem. Um, would you like, or would you rather be an astronaut or a zookeeper? An astronaut because I would like to see the stars. Oh, uh, my God. Yes, so hello. deep, you see, like William. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, okay, so would you like to see the stars? Uh -huh. mm. Jarvin, let me ask you. Jarvin. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, would you rather be a whale? Or an ant? Hmm. Do you understand what I'm asking you? The last one, the last part, no. Would you rather? Que preferirías? Would you rather? Yes. Would yes, you rather be a whale or an ant? What is the meaning of that? Whale is vagina and ant is hormiga. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I think that. I will. Mm, interesting, right? Yes. <laughs> Is it easy to, to decide? Yes. Why? For me, yes, because I prefer to be a, 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 a whale, I have to say. Uh-huh. Because they are free in the big ocean. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. in, the, in the end, they have to serve before the queen. Aha, uh -huh. it depends. They have a different categories. Yes. But you yes. prefer to be free, a free man. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. So you will be a whale with green eyes. Yes. Oh my God, course. that's a new species. <laughs> <laughs> Just using you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Glendy. Hi, Glendy. Hi, teacher. Hey, good evening. Let me ask a quick question. Would you like, would you rather have um, an extra nose or an extra eyes? An extra nose no. or an extra eye? I don't understand. Would you rather, que preferirías, would you rather have an extra nose or an extra eye? An extra eye because mm -hmm. I, I can see more things uh, around my environment or around my, 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 my side. No, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> like a cam chameleon, right? Yes. Like a chameleon. Okay, very good. Then meet that. <laughs> Thank you, Glendy. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Let me ask you something. Would you rather be uh, a staying? No, would you rather staying as an adult or uh, returning back to be like a child again? <laughs> oh, I, I love return my child <laughs> really why yeah, yes because my my childhood uh, my your childhood mm, yeah is was was happy was very amazing. happy yeah 
that's good. Yes, <laughs> I I think most of us had a really good memories of our childhood, right? And in time, in childhood, and jogging pass really fast, right? Yeah, really. Mm. When we notice, we already got forty. <laughs> and then we go 40 like <laughs> right okay. we're we're counting and we're down yes of course very yeah. good ah uh, okay okay Blanky right now he, she's driving so she's just listening right now the class but she's good right now so we're good uh, and who's missing i think i already asked everybody right guys yes okay very good hey do you like it these questions makes you think right would you rather have you already um heard about that question would you rather have you used it already or is a brand new for you would you rather for me it's new is new notice okay yeah. what about for the rest for you also will no for you no kenny okay what about for you william for you fernando josuecito francisco cody huh for me, it's new. No. For news, is you, Maddie? Okay. What about you, Erwin, Joshi, Andresito? Is it brand new for you? Would you rather? Uh, I heard it before that. You have heard it before? Yes. I but remember the, uh -huh. the, last, the previous course, we, course? we was uh, working in an exercise like the, the, the difference between I prefer to and I rather we would rather uh-huh i would yes, rather it's uh -huh. like it is uh, same, comparative but... comparative yeah in best day rather than uh-huh exactly but would you rather is like more polite yeah sometimes for example like the same things that we were seeing yesterday remember the last thing that we saw on the on class yesterday about all though the while and even though so basically we can say all of them uh, have a, individually has like a different meaning. But when we are using it in, a, in the context, it could be using in a similar way, but it, they have their particular differences, which we're going to get deeply today. That, that's what, what happened with, would you rather? And if you, if you, if you prefer to like that, that, the information that you saw in the previous course. That sometimes that happens as well in English, but it's really important not to only guys understand that we use that specific question or phrases or word in one context. Because I was explaining to you yesterday, English is so open and it's so variety that we can use in a different ways. Remember gerunds, for example? Remember when we saw gerunds that you used to see it like in the verb with the ing form, but we knew that you can use it as a subject and you can use it as an object. So basically it happens the same. Ah, and talking about that guys, I was searching for extra information to help you. For example, when you are trying to convert a verb into an ing form, do you remember rules for that or no? because there are rules. Do you remember some rules? If you do, yes. If you don't, don't worry. Just say yes or no. Who remembered rules? Nobody? No. Only one of the time, come on. Only one of the time. Nobody, no. No. Okay, so I have chosen, well, basically there are more, but they are the main six ones. So I have chosen not only the, to help you with the rules, but at the same time for examples. So let me just share with you. And I promise that I will send it to you right now through the WhatsApp so you can have it for future reference, okay? For yourself to consult it. I'm going to send it right now, but at the same time, I wanna share it right now with you. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Okay, can you see my screen or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? I think bigger, right? Okay, can you see it? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. I, I have chosen a six, the most common rules that it will be able to help you basically to improve. Or for example, you said, okay, this verb, ing, but do I have to duplicate the last letter or no? Do I have to change it, the I for the Y or no? 
So you see, there's kind of question that comes. So I just want you like to do that, like a quick review. Maybe you already have seen that, right? Or you already know that, but it's really important to do like a quick review. Do me a favor, uh, Delmita, can you please be so kind to help me read the first um, rule, if you don't mind? Okay. Uh, you can si say that in Spanish. Verbo, uh -huh. Si el verbo acaba en I. O E. Uh -huh. E. Esta desaparece y se le añade I, N, G. Uh -huh. Example. Example, token. Uh -huh. Aha, take, 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 taken. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. mira, el verbo puede terminar take, en, yeah. en E. ¿Qué pasa con la E cuando lo trasladamos en ING? Fuchile la E, and we put ING form. Okay, that's the first rule. Can you come up with another example, guys? ¿Se les viene otro ejemplo a la mente que un verbo que termina en E? Ajá. Uh -huh. a take. ¿Qué otro verbo termina en e? Execute. Make. Make. Execute. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, executing. Yes. What else? Make. Ajá. Uh -huh. Care. What about care? Dance. Be. Dance. Ajá. Uh -huh. What else? Uh-huh, we have a lot of, right? Okay, so, uh, exactly. So when you have, guys, a verb that ends in E and you would like to convert it to add and G, you just take it off the E and then put a and G form. But take a look because there's some other rules that could be some tricky sometimes. So that's what I'm trying to search for you or search the main ones. Number two, uh, thank you, Tamita. William. Can you please be so kind to let me know number two? Si el verbo acaba en IC, se le añade una K seguida de ING. Very good. In this one, guys, we don't substitute some, anything. We just add something. For example, take a look at this. Okay, the verb is picnic, right? What is the termination? I see. So what we got to do? We got to add the K and then ING form. You good? Yes? Okay, cool. Any yeah. questions so far? What is pronunciation in the German? Beginning. Beginning. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. There you go. Number three, uh, Fernando. Okay. Si el verbo acaba en I, E, estas dos letras desaparecen y se añade Y, seguido de ING. Example? Ex ejemplo, die, dying. Ajá, die, dying. Very good. Another example? Mm, study. Lie. Ajá, study? No, 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 study, no, study, no. Are you sure? No, right, porque study te mean in Y. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Another example the bird that ends in tie. Tie de empatar. Da tie. Tie. Uh -huh. Tied. Okay. What else? What about uh -huh. another one? That's it. Mm. That's the only one that comes up. Eating. What? Eating. No. No, because remember that the verb does not it does not end in ie. Oh yes. Uh -huh. Okay, no, that's okay, no problem. All right, very good. Let's continue. Uh, Francisco, now that you already have your microphone open, can you please read for me the last the number four, if you don't mind? Okay. Si el verbo acaba en i. En i. Estas, en l. Yes. En l. Ah, l. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> Esta se duplica y se le añade ING. Ajá, ¿example? Uh, ejemplo, travel. Ajá. Traveling. Traveling. Mm -hmm, very good. Another example for a bird that ends in L? Ajá. Uh -huh. Spell. Spell. Spelling. Spelling. 
Uh -huh. No, rolling, Not... rolling. Uh, oh, yeah, you can say rolling, yes. Mm -hmm. rolling. rolling in the deep, right? <laughs> All right, very good. Ah, you see? Ah, I, I, I know some music, yeah. I'm not too old fashioned. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, just to let you know, right? Okay, cool. What else? Any other example? Smell. What? Smell. Smell. Smelling. Tail. Telling. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Number number five. Let's see who's gonna help me. Hey, Fridays, welcome to the jungle. Doris, help me please with the number five. Si el verbo tiene una sola sílaba y acaba en consonante seguida de vocal, eh, se quiero ver, no alcanzo a leerla. Uh -huh. What about now? Eh, si el verbo tiene una sola sílaba y acaba en consonante seguida de vocal seguida, esta de consonante, la última consonante se duplica y se añade ing. Ejemplo, exactly. from running. Exactly. For example, you see run, run, no. una sola sílaba, right? Run. Exactly, una sola sílaba. So that's the first one. Y dice que acaba en consonante. Yes, ¿por qué acaba en consonante? Porque es una n, right? N, seguida de vocal, ok, ¿cuál es? Mira, la U es una vocal que va antes de la consonante, ¿no es cierto? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces, ¿qué hacemos acá? Bueno, duplicamos la, la última y ponemos ING, en este caso sería RONIN, con doble N, ¿ya? ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Ok, that. cool. And the last swim. one. Ajá, swim, swimming, okay, very swimming. good, exactly. All right, the last one. Let's see, Josuecito, do me a favor. Help me with the last one, please. Si el verbo tiene dos sílabas, el acento recae en la segunda sílaba. Mm -hmm. Y acaba en consonante seguida de vocal. Seguida, esta consonante. La última consonante se duplica y se le añade ing. Uh -huh. Example. Mm, example, admit, admitting. Admit. Admitting. Mira, ad, aquí son dos sílabas. Ad and meet. Pero, ¿dónde queda el, dónde cae el acento? Mira, recae en la segunda sílaba. Tú no dices admit, tú dices admit. ¿Sí? El acento va en la segunda. Entonces, como acaba en la segunda, y tenemos consonante, vocal, consonante, solo le agregamos la última, duplicamos la última letra, que sería T, and then we put the ing form. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? Any questions, any doubts so far? I, this is, I'm giving you this guys as an extra tip. We have more rules, but these ones are the main rules that we commonly use. So I just wanted to share with you for you to have it. That will help you in, in this case, in the writing process. So uh, let me a couple of minutes. IT department, do me a favor. Let me know when you receive it, okay? Because I'm about to send it to you right now. Okay. Good, let's see. There you go. Okay. okay, tell me if you receive it, please. Yes, I did. Yeah, you did. Did, did everybody receive it? Hey, Freddy. No? Yeah. yeah? Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. All righty, very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something. Now that I already gave you like an extra information about it that will help you in the future. Um, let me ask you something. Talking about job, uh, can you let me know what are some, uh, some of the most common ways to make employees' merits known to their coworkers? That had happened to you or not really? Do you understand my question? Make the employees what? Ah, you didn't understand my question. Okay, no, no I just wanna know if, if you know what are some, the most common ways to make employees 
merits known to their coworkers. Do you understand my idea? No, yes, I do. Uh, no, this is not yet. No, not really. Okay. Ah, sí. Okay. ¿Cuáles son las maneras más usadas para hacerle saber a los a los empleados los méritos que tiene otro empleado? Por ejemplo, uh, cuando, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. Yeah, but I was thinking what actually. Uh, uh -huh. Do you have any uh, idea what are the most common? Well, at least here, or if you also can take a, if that happens in your in your um. Employee was an employer. You can also share with us. Uh, man, the last year uh -huh. in, in the company that I that I am working, mm -hmm. uh, the, the the boss uh, gave uh, a TV for the employee of the year. Ooh, that's good. A TV. Yes. <gasps> but only that TV. Uh, a TV. A of course, a new one. Two, two TVs for two employees. Oh, so, so for one TV for each employee? For two for the two employee, employees of the year. The, ah. their, they were tight, tight. Really? Wow, that was nice. Yes, and Ooh. some, and, 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 and uh, how do you say, rifar, no me recuerdo. Raffle. Oh, sortear, sortear. Sorte. Raffle. Ah, the, he... He did a, a ruffle. Yeah, a ruffle. With uh with TVs, uh sounds, equipment, mm -hmm. uh and, and a lot of things and to to to, to win. Really? Yes, uh, after that they did a, a party uh, mm -hmm. for all the, the employees. Uh, but you but you didn't go. Yes, I did, but I I you came did? early to I I, I ah. get early home. Ah, of course, of course. Early. I got early home. Yeah. You came back home early. Yes. Okay, that's good. That is one way. Do you come up with a different way or maybe you can share based on your experience? In uh -huh. my, my case, uh -huh. uh, uh, a extra bonus. Ooh. Oh, yes, extra bonus. In, uh, 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 that, that is different from Christmas bonus. Yes, different. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Other. <laughs> uh -huh. Other. <laughs> That's nice. That's a good motivation, right, guys? <laughs> mm -hmm. Telmita, what about you? You were about to share something as well with us. Yes, yes. Uh, in the employee's day. Mm -hmm. uh, Is there an employee's but day? It's, <gasps> yes, in August. In August? Yeah. <gasps> well, yeah. finally, I know. We, okay. are, we, we have a celebration and give us a gift card. A gift card. Yeah. Oh, what type uh, of gift card? Gift for gift gift card of um, one hundred dollars. <gasps> everyone, bucks. everyone. Yeah. But but you decide. Uh, is, 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 let me ask. Is that gift card is like a debit card, or you can decide to either have a gift card for gas or a gift card for super. For uh, super. Oh, that's nice. Yes, of yes. course, a hundred bucks, a hundred bucks. Yeah, I'm so happy with ten dollars. Imagine with a hundred one, Oof, that's good. Yeah, that will help you to go right and to buy all the, the food at least for the 15 days or for the whole month. Yeah, you know what, Tomita? I remember that when I used to work at Sykes, <laughs> yeah, when a different call center, I remember that when you like reach your metrics, right. You know, when you're one of the top five or top ten, they uh, they um also provide you gift cards, but they uh they said okay, this is what you can pick: a gift card for super, a gift card for gas, or a certificate for for example twenty five bucks, and you can spend in Benihana, for example. Or I remember that also that was the other one. Ah, with it was for Sara, and I remember that the the my co-workers who were single, right? You said, no, I just want to go for Santa because I just want to go and buy my blouse about this and this. And I, and I told them, you know what? It's really, it's really different when you're single than when you're married and have responsibilities. Because in my case, I prefer a super or a gas. Yeah, and they said, 
Right? Yeah. yeah, yes, because you don't have to pay bills, you don't have to pay this and this and just, your, just yourself and maybe the scholarship, right? Or maybe the university. But in my case, I already have responsibilities. Even though I do not have a family, I mean, kids, right? I do have dogs <laughs> that are like my kids. Definitely, they are. They do not speak, but they are. You have to take them to the hospital. You have to take the medication, food, yeah? Spend time with them, etc. So they're like kids that they don't talk. Yeah, so basically, I, I always decide either to have um, a gift card for a um, supermarket or a gas. And that was nice. You know what, then, Ita? That helps a lot. And it's a good motivation. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot. What about somebody else want to share their experience? I don't have experience, but my dad has experience. Okay, tell us. Actually, he works for the government, but the government is kind of stingy. Uh-huh. Because they, they actually he didn't get um any um gift cards or something that would it will be, he only gets um, like a, I don't know how, how can you say, it's like a piece of metal uh -huh. that, that recognize his, his labor. Ah, okay, but there's nothing related to uh, oh. money, no, nothing? Just, uh, he has like four of them that, that the last one he says, um, they, um, congrat and congratulations for working for SEPA for 44 years. Oh, SEPA. Ah, okay. Yeah. Did, did they didn't give like something to go to a dinner or something like that? No. Oh, but only like like a certificate or something like that? No, it's, it's like a it's like a piece of wood with a ah with, with some yeah. with some engraving things. Yeah, and uh -huh. With, it, with an engraved message. Yeah. Ah, okay. You know what engrave art is, guys? Engrave. Do you know what that means? Engrave. Something to signify engrave. Grabado. Aha. For example, when you go to the, uh, how you say that in Spanish? Cementerios. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Y ven que las plaquitas, sí, que está como grabado. Mensaje o nombre. Entonces, engrave, engrave es grabado. ¿Sí? Ok. Van para tu matanta, Francisco. Yeah, teacher. Ok. Very good. Excellent. Ok, so there's another way, ok? Very good. It's not what we were expecting for, but there's a way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ok. Anybody else? Thank you, Freddy's. Anybody else? William, Erwin, Maddie? And Jarvin, that you are a soup? Yes, teacher. For example, uh -huh. in my company, mm -hmm. when we are in Sun Green from production uh -huh. for OTP on time production, uh -huh. we we give a free lunch and, and a cake for all the employees. With a free lunch, and you, as a as a as a boss, decide what you're going to give to the employees, or you gave them like two or three options that they can pick one of them. Yes, because we we have to choose ah. if we a, a a free T-shirt or a lunch, but the T-shirt can use us in the factory. A, a free me. Free T-shirt. Uh, uh, yeah, free me. No, <laughs> teacher. Uh, there you go. That's what I want. Remember, sure. t-shirt, t-shirt. Yes. Uh -huh. A free me was like, well, and I, you know what? I was about to ask you, I do not remember when I was invited to your company. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but that's okay. That's okay. And uh, I just, I, uh, I don't want to make you feel bad. No, but I'm teasing you because I just want you to, like the correct pronunciation. Okay. Even though it's, it's, it's like a different way to, to write it, but the pronunciation is kind of similar. You just need to emphasize on the T shirt. You got you got put like some stop there and then put shirt. But in this case, teacher, you see, teacher, T shirt. 
No see the difference? Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. So do it again. Tell us your story once again, if you don't mind. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we are in, in Sun Green mm -hmm. or OTP, mm -hmm. we have to select and we going to, to give a teacher or a free lunch. Thank you. You're my best. Excellent job. Very good job. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. I, you know what? I'm imagining Mr. Jarwin with these beautiful green eyes, like, like yesterday, remember? <laughs> Very good. All righty. Thank you, Jarwin. Mm -hmm. Madeline, like yes. What about you? Something. Yes, I would like to share something. Yeah, go and ahead. In my company, uh, well, when we are uh, good uh, employees, uh, they we we work from Monday to Saturday. Ah, okay. And uh, but when we you are a good uh, empl employee, mm -hmm. they give you uh, one day, uh, but Sunday, Saturday. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Saturday, and uh, that is free. Oh, and really? Yeah. Uh, so, if, so if I understood you correctly, you work Monday to Saturday. So you only have one day off, which in this case yes. is going to be Sunday. But if yeah. you're a good employee, you got a good metrics and all the stuff, you get an extra day and maybe you get like a weekends off, right? Yeah. At not forever, but at least for that week. And no, only one day. Uh -huh. Yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah but that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Good, excellent. <laughs> that is the only the only thing that you get or you can get something else no uh, no and also like uh telmita said uh, that they uh, give us a gift card uh, super selectos oh yes <laughs> uh -huh. that's good that's good even though they give you 10 boxes 10 bucks yeah but it will give you 10 bucks right that's good very good excellent thank you also Cito, what about you Maybe maybe I don't tell the truth. Don't uh, have uh, uh, that kind of motivations, no? No. no. But uh, our company uh, used to have uh, uh, last uh, in December uh -huh. uh, a meeting with every uh, everybody. With the yeah, and give a uh, gift card, but it's for everybody. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. Is anybody else want to share? Uh, hi, Madeline. Wants to share your experience or what had happened to you? No, nobody has anything else. Okay, no, no problem. All right, what about you, Joshi? Where's Joshi, by the way? I think something happened with her connection, but she will be right back. Okay, so let me ask you something now. Uh, do you think, guys, that is it effective? to recognize employees base matterly or tenure? You know what tenure is, right? You know what that means? Tenure? Saben que significa tenure? What does it mean, tenure? No, tenure. Tenure, tenure. is... Eh, por ejemplo, exact, ah, exactly, es más viejo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, el, el, el empleado antigüedad. que está estado más, exactly, yeah. antigüedad. Por mm -hmm. antigüedad o por mérito. Is it effective to recognize employees for that two criteria? What do you think? Yes. Yes, why, yeah. Oh, listen, Francisco. Yes. Okay, we want to know why. Why do you think about that? I like it that my boss recognize 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 uh, the time all all times however my mm -hmm. boss is like to mr crafts <laughs> mr crafts really yeah. for for spongebob okay for SpongeBob. yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh how do you say that you don't know how to say tacaño Mm. Come on. Oh, no, <gasps> okay. I, what's the name of that tale? Oh my God. What's the name of the writer? I, you know what? I had it here, literally. Stingy. Here. Huh? Stingy. Eh, no, really. Stingy. Eh, but there's another, another word. 
Mm. Mean? <laughs> no, mean is like eh, malvado. Wow. Oh. Yes. Uh huh. I he's googling. Like Google knows everything. Come on. <laughs> Shame he's on you, Mr. Google teacher. What, Mr. Google, Andres? Yes. <laughs> you remember? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. If you love to read. Well, some of you, yes, some of you don't, but I don't know what type of uh, topics you would like to read. But do you remember Charles Dickens? Have you already read any Charles Dickens book? That is a famous yes, uh, English did. writer. Uh, this is Crush. Exactly. Exactly, Fernando. So it's Crush. Is that? Really? Yes. Wow. That is, that is what it means, Crush. Is crush mm. means codo. Oh. <laughs> that is that is similar to stingy, Fernando. That is similar. It's a synonym. Fernando, listen. Mm. You Please don't believe me, right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. huh? Again, pan para mi matata. Exactly. It just um. What's the name of that tail? Ah, that tail is a Venetian crush. That's the name of the. Of the of the of the so popper right of the play right of the book seven mm. restaurants crush or no, no. Oh, it's un cuento de navidad the... right now no yeah. what's the name of that right it's that way right un cuento de navidad yes. right yes all it's right of this thing ah uh, exactly so scrooge is another way to say like mm. you already know that freddy have you ever heard that that word before which one scrooge yes. uh huh uh, yeah, that happens on the Disney cartoons, right? Uh huh. When it comes the past, the future, the present, and the future. Yeah, but a crush is like this. Yeah, it, it actually comes. It, it, it comes out to make ref, reflections on the to the rich uh -huh. people. Correct. Exactly. So now you know, guys, that the name of the of that. Little person, actually, little actor, it means something. Pan para tu matanta, Francisco. <laughs> you see, you are learning a lot of words, a lot of brand new words for it. Panadero te vas a hacer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> panadero, but English panadero, which is totally different, my man. It's a total category, a different category, you know? He's going to put a bakery. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a really fancy category, you know? Yeah, he will start singing all the single ladies. No, sorry, all the single men, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you were doing like, oh, 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 right, like that. <laughs> no, uh, uh, imagine Francisco like that. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you, Francisco. Okay, <laughs> teacher, you are so mean sometimes. Nah, okay, guys. Yeah, I do have a lot of imagination that you cannot imagine. <laughs> okay, that is so redundant. I'm sorry for that. Okay, so do me a favor, guys. Uh, I just want you to help me. Okay, for doing these guys and for talking about recognitions uh, for marriage for employees or all the stuff that we were discussing, guys, for these things, we're, we use some kind of adverse, the one that we just saw yesterday that sometimes makes the function of conjunctions. But in this case, we use it as an adverse of concession, concession or contrast. So we use it, all of them, but we use most of them, three of three adverbs that we saw. Do you remember which one you uh, we discussed yesterday almost at the beginning of our class? Do you remember that? You remember we saw all those? What else? Okay. Even though, uh huh. While, while yes, we have more. We have meanwhile. We have in spite of, whereas, etc. We have a lot, but the concession albers are basically this one is are the most common use. Although, even though, yes, open the other door, <laughs> the other window. Okay, hey guys, yeah. what's the meaning of even though? What's the meaning of even though? Although it's aunque, even though? Sin embargo. Sin embargo, very good. And while? Mientras. 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 Okay, very good. I want to show you right now some like, what can I say? Like a conversation. 
And I want you just guys to take a look on this particular three adverbs that they are put in a specific place of the conversation. I just want you to take a look, not only to the position of where is it, but at the same time, a, how these linking words or conjunctions helps to give the idea, to make concession guys, or to do a contrast between one idea, main, main idea, and a second idea, which is called subordinate clause. So if you allow me a couple of minutes, let me share right now with you. And I will need, guys, I want your help, because the teacher speaks so much. Teacher is because you like to speak. Yes, of course I do. But in this case, I need your help. And I just need two guys. I need one boy and one girl. Any volunteer? One boy and one girl, that's all that I need. I know that everybody wants to participate, but hold your horses. Yes, Freddie, goodbye, disappear. That's okay for me. <laughs> all righty, yeah, you can disappear. All righty. I was laughing because I sent a picture to... <laughs> ah, okay, okay, yeah. I'll only focus on, the, on that class, please, if you don't mind. I will really appreciate it. All right, <laughs> okay. Okay, William, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, you're so kind. You're gonna be one of them. And uh, let's see, I need a girl. I need a girl. Uh, Amelia, would you like to try? Would you like to role play with uh, Mr. William? With this handsome yes. man, yes? Look, he's preparing, he's like. There you <laughs> go. Okay. So let me share right now my screen with you. And guys, do me a favor, okay? Try to like put some emotion when you're reading. No flat reading. Like put some emotion. Try to get into the person, into the character. <clears throat> okay, so just bear with me. Let's see what we have. Uh -uh. Is that okay like that? Or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? It's okay. That's it's okay? Good. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, guys, I just want you to take a look of how we use although, while, even though, and don't, okay? I just want to do that. Okay, Willen, you're going to be Mark, and I think Kenya is going to be Dillian. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Amelia. Ah, no, Amelia, may I apologize for that inconvenience. <laughs> oh, okay, oh my God. Yeah, but don't hurt me, okay? Don't hurt me, I'll be your friend. <laughs> I was just asking the teacher because um, it's better that she, she do it, does. Como si lo, que ella lo haga? She does it. Why? It's better. It's better. No. Ah, no, 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 no. No, that, that is Madeline. You confuse Amelia. I'm confused. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. That's the whole story. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Okay, William, go ahead. Okay, um, my employees are not as motivated as I would like. Although the company invests a lot, of, a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition programs. Or rewarding employees with extra bonuses, it's all right. Rewarding them with longer pay vacations could improve their performance. I guess you're right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic, even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month award work for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer story of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm. I thought peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan. Implementing it alone, the mission and goals of the company will be a greater improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Very good, good, good. Very good. Excellent job. Now, just let me just repeat these things that I just want you to emphasize in the pronunciation. 
Do me a favor. William, can you please be so kind to repeat for me? Enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Yes. I want I want you to, to pronounce the termination, enthusiasm, because you just said enthusiasm. It's enthusiasm. Okay. enthusiasm. okay, very good. Thank you. Now uh, no, that's it right now for you. Oh yes, this one. Uh, the second intervention of Mark, you said through the employee of the month award work it. You said award work. Oh, award, award work. work it. I just yeah to remember that I know the regular verbs. It, some of them are pronounced a dit, d termination t. So you said award. I want to hear the word the d at the end and work it. This time you said work it. Uh, okay. So do me a favor. Try to say even though motivation are employees motivating sorry are employees through the employee of the month award work it for a couple of months. Say it, please. Even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month, I work, work it for a couple of months. Uh, of the, of the, the employee of the month award, of the month award, remember? The month award, the work month, it for a couple month of months. Uh -huh. Do it one more time. <clears throat> Even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month award work it for a couple of months. Uh -huh. that, that, this is that you need to emphasize. Remember is employee of the month award. Ese es el tema. Employee, employee of the month of award. Work. So up to that, uh -huh. you do a stop. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. Even though motivating our employees through the through the employee of the month award. I'm sorry. To the month award, to the month award. Uh, okay. Even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month award worked uh, for a couple of months. Work it. Work it for a couple Work of months. Dale otra vez. Si no, no paso de allí. Even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month award work it for a couple of months very good eso me llega. motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact may have may cuando tú cuando tú haces esa palabra porque lo que tienes que decir es motivating through peer-to-peer -peer, decir grupo en grupo no one to one stories of success sí may have quieres decir que tú quieres resaltar esa idea may have a more meaningful impact, probablemente o tal vez tenga un más impacto significativo. That's what you want to say. So esa idea, you need to emphasize it with the pronunciation. Do it one more time. Everything for even though. Okay. Ay, teacher, yes, I know. I know you want to kill me, but go ahead. You can do it later on in the survey. <laughs> okay. Even though motivating our employees through the employees of the month were work it for a couple of months, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer story of success may have a more meaningful impact. Very good. That's what I need. May have more motivating or more meaningful impact. Impact, no impact. Impact. Okay. okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. <laughs> but please, no mistakes. I don't want I don't want you to speed up. No, I don't care about that. I what I really care is for good written and good pronunciation. Go ahead, sir. You can sweat. do it. You sweat like a pig, I know, but do it. Yes. It's hot here. I know, okay. me too. From the beginning or nah, don't worry. Only even though. Okay, even uh -huh. though motivating our employees through through the employee of the month work, work it for a couple of months. Motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Yeah, you see? Yeah, this is more understandable. Very good job. Thank you. Remember, guys, reading is not just reading for reading. We also need to put some attention and to emphasize and respect punctuation. I don't care about Spanish, but I do care about English. 
So that's why I'm here for. I just, I, I promise that we're gonna develop the reading skill and we are going to develop the reading skill. Uh, teacher, I have a question. No, Francisco, Fernandez, no time, go ahead. <laughs> uh, why? Why what? Why did you pronounce work as work it? Well, you know what? There's an answer for you, but I want you to ask me that same question once you saw that video that I sent it to you about how to pronounce the different type of regular verbs. No, I different types, okay. Aha, uh -huh. have you seen it? Yeah. Not really, right? Honestly, I didn't. Aha, uh -huh. I sent to all of you almost at the beginning of the of our model yes. that we have three categories for regular verbs. Even though all of them ends in ed, not all of them pronounce it in the same way. Some of them in pronounce it with a t ending, some of them pronounce it with a d ending, and some of them pronounce it with an id ending. Which one are they? Hmm. Uh, I used to pronounce work, work, work with work. t at yeah. the end, with uh -uh. work. No. With, with the t same t at the end. That's why. No. Well, it's not correct. Yes, work, no, it's work uh, and work. No, and infinity it. is, is the same half price. Uh -huh. But infinity work. is work. work. It's work. Yes, but, but, but in past, I, I remember work. I used to pronounce like a work with T uh -huh. at the end. Uh -uh. Work. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. so uh, that would be your own homework. No, I don't want to make you feel bad. No, 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 I'm just teasing you. But I'm just giving you that information because we have three categories. Yes, Th I remember. Uh-huh. I remember what, what, what are but uh, work. Uh -huh. uh, if I write work on Google or Deep Al, the, the pronounce is work with T at the end. <laughs> but no. I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Mm -mm. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you see, pan para tu matata, right, Francisco? <laughs> the bakery. Yeah, the shop. The big, the bakery. No, but that's okay. <laughs> Don't trust in Google, please. Google doesn't know everything. <laughs> <laughs> no. I have doubts about that. Aha, <laughs> uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That you see, I know that he's an IT department and he loves a computer. Yeah, I know. I know that. But never trust in technology. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. No, but I'm not teasing you about the pronunciation. No way. That pronunciation no, is different. Yeah, I will try. If you don't have it, the, the video, guys, that I sent it to you, we'll try to send it to you one more time. Okay? Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, very good, William. Very good. But, and let's see, Amelia. Yeah. yeah. Okay, now it's your turn. Do me a favor. And can you please be so kind to pronounce for me from here to here? Why? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All rewarding employees with extra bonuses, it's a right. Rewarding them with longer pay vacations could improve their performance. Uh -huh. Do it one more time, please. Okay. Hold rewarding employees mm -mm. with employees. No, I, I, I cannot uh, distinguish while. While. Okay. Uh -huh. While rewarding okay. employees with extra bonuses is all right, comma. You got to change the tone of voice. Go ahead. You can do it. Okay. While rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right, rewarding them with longer pay vacations could improve their performance. Very good, excellent. Now, yes, that's what I want. And this one, although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan, that phrase. Okay, okay. Mm, I thought peer, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, um, ah, what happened? Um, I thought peer-to-peer -peer recon recognition. I I can't pronounce recognition. recognition. No, recognition. 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 Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> mm, I thought uh, 
sé, me <ríe> queda. <ríe> no, 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 no. Ok. <ríe> I thought peer-to-peer -peer recon recognition sounds like a good plan. Implementing it along. And the mission and goals of the company will be a great improvement. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Almost. Almost. But this is, <laughs> this is like, mm. Mm. this is, mm, remember? Mm. Although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan, implementing it along the mission, implementing it along the mission, that is that is one idea. Implementing it along the mission and goals of the company will be a greater improvement. You see the intonation? Do it again, you can do it. Okay. Mm. I thought peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan. Implementing along the mission and goals of the company will be a great improvement. Bravo, excellent job. That's what I need. Was hard. <laughs> yes, was very good. good. I know that you almost kill me. You can kill me in your dreams if you would like to. No problem. <laughs> yes, because I will mind. still alive next day, hopefully. All right. If we don't <laughs> do me voodoo or something like that. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, of course. You see? Very good. Okay. Now do me a favor. Again, William, Amelia, I need your help one more time. But this time... I don't want any mistakes at all. Don't, don't, don't hesitate or don't do it like faster. I don't need a faster pronunciation. If you can do a faster pronunciation and good and a faster speed of the speedness and a good pronunciation is fine for me. But I really prefer, I rather, I rather like good pronunciation than a speedness. Okay, you got it? Cool. Okay, recognition strategies as scenario number two, action, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my employees are not as motivated as we like. Although the company invests a lot of in motivational, motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at the company in regards to recognition programs. While, while rewarding employees with extra bonuses is all right, rewarding them with a longer pay vacation could improve their performance. I guess you are right. I believe we may need something more intrinsic, even though motivating our employees through the employees of the month award work it for a couple of months motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact mm, also peer-to-peer -peer recognition recognition sounds like a good plan implementing it along the missions and goals of the company will be a great improvement i would like to see employees being rewarded and on the, on the basis of the teamwork and innovation goals <laughs> very very good much much better than the first time excellent job you see the first time now guys when you read it doesn't sound flat it doesn't sound like if you're reading no it sounds like if you're actually speaking if you actually have a real dialogue conversation between you not only because you change the tone of voice but at the same time because you emphasize of the words on an idea that they were supposed to and also you respect punctuation that's what i need good reading yeah, you know what? Everybody thinks that reading is ah, that's a piece of case, but you know what? Reading good is not as easy as it seems. I know I know you're sweating like a pig, William. And maybe you would like to kill me, right? I know that. I know that. Yeah, but that's what I like. Guys, what do you think about the performance of, of your classmates? Are you agree with me that they have done a really good job today? Yes. 
Yes, you see? Do you agree, guys? It's true, really. Yes. It's really yes. You have Are we giving it a plus? Yeah, right? Very, very good. Excellent job. Yeah, you have you can applause yourself, of course. You should be proud of yourself. Excellent. That's what I need. Very good. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I know there's still some words, especially right, the endings, right, Amelia? Sounds. Sounds, right? Yeah, recognition. Yeah, I know. But you're improving it. That's good. Guys, according to what your beautiful classmates have read like a thousand of times today, <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys. Uh, do me a favor. Based on the dialogue that you heard, uh, which were the ideas that you could identify on the dialogue that there are talk of examples about recognition strategies? Do you remember some of them about the recognition strategies? That are recognition strategies that appears in the dialogue. Do you remember some of them? Vacations. Ah, uh, vacations. What else? Bonuses. Bonuses. What else? Uh huh. What else? Vacation bonuses. Any extra thing? Promotions. Promotions. Very good. Uh -huh. What else? Employee of the month. Employee of the month, yeah, exactly. What else? Lack of recognition. <laughs> uh huh. Hey, do you remember about peer to peer stories of success? Mm hmm. And, and guys, they're talking about only individual recognition or also team recognitions. Individual. Individual, individual, but individual only individual? Are you sure? Peer-to-peer no. -peer recognition. Peer-to-peer. Peer-to-peer, that means group, teams. Very good. Excellent. So you know what? One member of the team can make the difference. And guys, this is really a good, important situation because sometimes when we are a team, the supervisor and Mr. Jarvin can, can uh, confirm that or not. Uh, one member of the team can make the difference in the group. Somebody, so most of the time, the agents or the members of the team thinks individually way. They said, ah, if I screwed up or if I don't get the metrics or I don't do what that is going to affect only me. Guess what? That's not truth. It affects you as an agent or as a person, as employee, it affects your team. It affects your supervisor and it affects your entire company. So everybody, everybody is really, really important, no matter what position you have. So if you think individually, you're wrong, but you, get, you always have to think about your team, trying to do your best, trying to give your best. Not only if you have been recognized or not, because you, you, if you've been a good employee, mm, don't worry. You will have many doors open. Yeah, try to always do your best. Go an extra mile, always go an extra mile. And you'll see, you will be recognized. Sometimes we think that they are not double check what we're doing, but yes, they do. Yes, they do. Excellent, very good job. So guys, let me go back to the dialogue and I want you guys to help me identify how, how these words, even though, although, and while, are used on that scenario. And not only the position, not only the position of the sentence, but also a, what is the extra meaning or extra information that is providing us that is reinforced the idea that we would like to say. I just want you to do that for me. Let me go back and help me, please. I need your help. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's let's analyze first of all all vote. In the first part, all vote. Tell me, tell me something. It is at the beginning of the sentence, in the middle, in the second sentence. What you could identify there? In 
the second second sentence. Aha, uh -huh. exactly. So this is one thing. Although you can use one, there's one little nice thing about this conjunction or adverb as well, that this one, you can use it in the middle of the sentence, in this case, or at the beginning of the second idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, take a look. Let's read everything, the, the whole uh, sentence or two sentences. Let's read it back. My employees are not as motivated as I would like to. Well, period, right? Although the company invested a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. Tell me, this word, although, how is used in this scenario, in this sentence? How is used it? And it's combining two ideas. Exactly, combining two ideas into one. Very good. But if you see, guys, although introduce the, the reason why, in this case, employees are not motivated, right? They're doing, they, for example, take a look. My employees are, are not as motivated as I would like to. That is the problem. Los, a pesar, although the company, a pesar, que la compañía ha invertido mucho en motivational de in, uh, development, aún así, the employees are not motivated as they would like. ¿Me, me, da, me dan la razón? Esto pasa, aunque se ha hecho lo anterior, aún así, todavía sigue el problema. ¿Me entienden cómo se usa, se usa all about? A menos en este caso, ¿sí? Se hace un contraste. O se hace una razón. Se, se da como, por ejemplo, a pesar de que se hizo tal cosa, todavía está el problema. ¿Me entienden? ¿Me entienden cómo se usa although ahorita? Yes or no? I just want a simple yes or simple no. Delmita. Sí, lo entiendo, solo que es como una, eh, eh, un sinónimo de, de, de esfuerzo, de, de, de algo más. Eh. Exacto, en este caso sí, pero si tú te fijas, por ejemplo, en esa, mira, although, esta es una expresión, esto no cuenta, esto es como decir, mm, ajá, mm -hmm. esta es una expresión nada más, esto es al principio de la oración, miren. ¿Dónde está hoy although? Al principio. Although se puede usar tanto al principio como en medio de, de dos ideas. ¿Sí? Y esta es una de las particularidades que tiene although. Miren lo que, es, miren lo que dice. Although peer-to-peer -peer recognition sounds like a good plan, a pesar de, o aunque, el peer-to-peer -peer recognition se oye como un buen plan, Aunque pasa eso, podríamos hacer esto y esto y esto y lo otro. ¿Ven cómo puede funcionar el, el although? No se preocupen, ya ten, tengo más ejemplos para darles. Tranquilos. Solo quiero que vean las diferentes positions. ¿Estamos bien de aquí? ¿So far, sí? Yes. Are you sure? Porque a Fernando le veo con una cara de interrogación que para qué le cuento. No. Ay, no, no, no. Don't tell me now. You sound like a cat. I, I'm, I'm still searching work. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm still Ajá, verdad. Te toqué tu ego. Oh. Toqué en lo... Eh, influye en lo más profundo de su ser. <laughs> Ah, yo sabía que te iba a quedar picado. Ok, muy bien. No se preocupen. Tengo algo para ustedes ahorita que les va a ayudar muchísimo. ¡Tarán! Miren qué linda gente la teacher. Ajá. The difference. Telmita, al fin. The difference between although versus even though. Que esa es una de las que 
finished that. All right, very good. Uh, who can help me read it? Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Now that we'll start working. Here's a paragraph. Aha, uh -huh, this one. Uh, oh. Although and even though are two conjunctions, conjunctions. linking work. Conjunctions. Oh, no, conjunction, no. Conjunctions. Conjunctions. Aha, uh -huh. it's conjunctions. 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 Very good. Conjunctions. Okay. Linking words that are used to show contrast, though these two terms have similar meanings and are used in similar gram grammatical contexts. Mm -hmm. There is a slight difference between although and even though. Mm -hmm. Even though is a slightly stronger stronger just stronger and empathic than aldo uh -huh. this is the key difference between aldo and even though however these two conju conjunctions conjunctions can be just interchangeable interchangeably 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 Interchangeably. No. Interchangeably. 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 Uh, remember belly dance interchangeably. <laughs> like that. And you can move. Interchangeably. <laughs> if you move, it will sound correctly. Interchangeably. You see, move it. <laughs> interchangeably. <laughs> ah, no. You see, you have to move. Interchangeably. <laughs> Interchangeably. No, you, you gotta move, right, William? No. You can say it. in the summertime when the weather is fine. You're not gonna do that. Interchangeably. No. Interchangeably. No, just oh, you move your head, right? Interchangeably. 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 Bah, okay, much better. Much better. Uh-huh. So, okay, guys. Take a look. Even though and and although they might guys sounds or have a similar meaning in the context and as well and uh, basically in the grammatical context in the case, the difference is guys that even though it's a stronger and you emphasize and more emphatic, right? Even though it means sin embargo in Spanish and all and although aunque. Um, however, right? Huh? Um, however. ¿Qué significa however? Sin embargo, no. Sin embargo. No. However. Uh -huh. Even though. ¿Y qué significa even though? Ajá, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Google it. <laughs> Google it, Fernando. Google knows everything. Ah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Google knows everything. Oh my God, Google knows everything. Google knows everything. Uh huh. What's the meaning of even though? You can tell, okay. Google says. <laughs> A pesar okay. de. Even though puede ser aunque, o aunque aun también, cuando, aun cuando. cuando. Exactly. Aun cuando. And however. Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Y although. Aunque. Aunque. Uh -huh. While. Mientras. Mientras. In the meantime. Ajá, <laughs> ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Mientras tanto. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the meantime. Ajá. Uh -huh. Whereas. In spite well, of. I don't know. Uh -huh. Ah, ¿verdad? Ya ven. Muy bien. Despite. Despite. En vez de. En vez de, ya ven, ya ven. Ya le voy a dar toda la lista, oiga, de las linking words. De las que usamos al principio de las oraciones, en medio de las oraciones y al final de las oraciones. ¿Les parece? Yeah. No, son un puño, así que se las voy a dar, no se preocupen. Muy bien, pero ven la diferencia. Eh, si usted yes. quiere, por ejemplo, dar énfasis a algo así, pero así como más fuerza en su idea, you gotta use even though. Okay. Even though, porque es más stronger and empathic. Solo acuérdese de la canción de Britney Spears. I'm a stronger. Okay, remember that? Okay. Muy bien. Okay. What does all do mean? ¿Quién me ayuda? Uh, William.
Read it for me, please. Uh, although is a conjunction that is used to indicate contrast. 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 It mm -hmm. has the same meaning as in spite of, mm -hmm. even though and though. Mm -hmm. This conjunction always follows a clause. The following examples show the usage of this conjunction. 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 Uh -huh. Give read it for me the first one. Although he's much older than me, he looks younger. Yeah. Por ejemplo, imagínense, si yo digo, <laughs> aunque eh, William is, is, is more older than me, <laughs> he looks younger. Nah, mentira, you're, you're younger than me. Okay. Very good. Can you please, thank you, William. Can you please read, read so kind to read for me the second sentence, Doris? He bought me a expensive watch, although I told him not to. Aha, very good. Miren esto. Aquí tenemos dos usos de although. Aquí está el principio, right? Mm. Y aquí está después, right? En la segunda idea, right? La que acaba de leer Doris. Cuando although is at the beginning of the sentence, usted, mire. Aquí está la comita, mire. Pero cuando usted lo pone después en la segunda idea, la coma va a ir antes del although. ¿Ve aquí? ¿Ve la diferencia? ¿Estamos bien? Mm -hmm. Ah, sí. Ok, muy bien. Uh, Mr. Fernando, can you please read for me the third one? Ok. She has an expensive letter watch, although I have never seen her wear it. Ajá. Ella tiene un ¿qué? Un reloj, un reloj de qué? Caro. De cuadre, de, de cuero. De cuero. Uh -huh. de cuero, muy caro, pero aunque yo nunca se lo he visto. ¿eh? Nunca solo... he visto usar, nunca he visto usarlo. Ah, exacto, visto solo de presumida. Ok, very good. Ajá. Josuecito, can you please read for me the next uh, sentence? Although he worked hard. He couldn't pass the exam. Couldn't pass the exam. Aha, uh -huh, very good. A pesar de que estudió fuerte, right? No mucho. No pasó el examen. Mm -hmm. Erwin, the last one, please. Although the restaurant was crowded, he managed to find a good table. Aha, uh -huh. although the restaurant was crowded, he managed to find a good table. You know what crowded is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, gentillo. Lleno. Lleno, full, like a downtown of like Salvador. Like a full, okay. Like exactly, like a soccer match between Fas and Firpo here. Exactly like that way. Mm -hmm. like public transportation in Santa Tecla. Exactly, the 42B. La 44. La, la 42B, no, Santa Tecla, no, para Santa Tecla. Hasta yo lo sé. <laughs> Is the is the forty two B right? I think so. Aha, uh -huh. yeah. vaya, Delmita, quiero que me que me ayude a leer esto. What are the similarities between although and even though? Read it for me, please, for everybody. You would like to make it a little bit bigger? ¿Lo quieres que lo haga más lo haga más grande? Please. Okay. Ya ven, los otros pues bien chivo, ve todavía tienen sus ojitos buenos. Es cierto, uno que ya no. Es que yo, lo que pasa es que yo uso lentes de contacto. Ah, mentira. Nah, que, no, no uso lentes todavía, pero ya casi te invito a eso hoy. No te rías, no te rías. ¿eh? I wait for you in the optic. Ah, ok. Oh, bye. No, yo ya tengo, yo tengo lente, lente de sol, vaya, marca Polaroid, para que me cuiden mis aguitos. Oh, my God. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's move forward. Help me right now. Read it, please. Okay. Um, auto. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Auto and even though are two conjunctions that indicate contrast. Aha, mira, los dos indican contraste. Very good. Continue. But of both of them have the same meaning. Ha, both. Both of them. 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 Mm -hmm. And the same meaning. Very good. Continue. 
both these two both these two conjunctions follow a clause. Example. Mm -hmm. Subject and verb. A clause, guys, is another way to say sentence. Dice que ambas eh, le siguen a una sentence, a una clause. Sujeto más verbo. Conjunctions. Remember, conjunctions. Conjunctions. All right, very good. Now, do me a favor. Let's see. Kenya. Thank you, Telmita. Kenya. Yes. Okay, can you please be so kind to read for me the difference between all though and even though? Although is not an empathic or strong as even though. Uh -huh. Even though is slightly stronger and empathic than although. Uh -huh. And also in writing, because in writing they have difference as well. Continue. I cannot see that ah, part. Don't worry, I can read it for you. In writing, although right is written as one word. And remember that even though it is not together, even though it's written in two words. Okay? Because the, why I'm saying that? Because sometimes, guys, there's people that put all the, and they put even though together. And it's not that. You said it's even though, two words. So that is, that is, another, maybe it could be like some common sense, right? But no, you, you see, that is really important to try to write the things correctly. Okay, guys, so let me, let me give you some exercises. Uh, 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 just write in exercise. This is going to be a really easy peasy queasy. It's not complicated. Let's practice right now the writing skill. That's what I want. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Da, 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 da. Ah, yeah. There you go. Okay, Mr. Uh, Mr. IT, let me know once you receive it. Guys, I'm gonna send it to you. This is six exercises, six sentences. All that I want you to do is to help me. Help me with this. I will send you two type of exercises, but the first one is going to be this one that we were talking about. Let's see what we have here. Da, 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 da. Teacher, what are you doing? Let's see, I found it here. I have it here. Just let me know once you receive it, okay? Bear with me right now because my system is running a little bit slowly today. I really appreciate your patience. Just let me know, IT department, once, once you receive it, please. Not yet. No, I know because I haven't sent it. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That, that IT department, it's, oh my God, you cannot mm -hmm. imagine. This IT department is so demanding. It's so stressful. So, yes, so stressful sometimes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All righty. No, but that's what I like. Teamwork, teamwork. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do it right now. I'm sending it to you right now. There you go. Do you receive it already or not? Yes. Yes, I with this finally. Okay, so this is going to be how many sentences we have. We got five because the first one is already being answered. Okay, so this is the thing. You have six five sentences there. I want you to use even though, although, or while. You need to decide which one works, will work better for the idea. And I think I'm going to put you in groups. We are 17, right? Because with me, 18, but I do not count. So let's see, let's put it together. Yeah, I do not count. Because I'm not going to help you. Come on. You're the teacher, you're supposed to help us. <laughs> I, I already gave you an example. Yeah, that, that's the way that I help you. So no way. All righty. And how many, how many groups should I need to create? Somebody good in math, Doris? What do you say? I think we are 17. How many pairs, how many group of two do I need to create? 
8 y 1 de 1. De 3, perdón. 8 y 1 de 3. O sea, de los 8 que se forman, 1 va a ser de 3. Y de los 7 de 2. Oh my goodness. Are you sure you're not an accountant? No. No. Yes, you're right. Okay, very good. So, okay. I already sent you the invitation. It's 941. You have only five minutes to complete that. That's enough. Accept the invitation, please. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Come on, no way. <laughs> five minutes, it's enough. 20 minutes to finish the class. <laughs> to finish that class. Come on. Shame on you. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, student. Uh, uh, it, it's Jesse. I'm driving right now. That's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Uh -huh. you yeah? Yes. Easy peasy queasy, right? No. Uh. Uh, that is, that it, is, it, it's uh, difficult. You, know what? you are so motivated that I don't know. It's difficult. Uh, now it, it, it is difficult. How what how I know what is the correct answer because sometimes how do you I can know? use uh although or even though and mean the same. Remember, it depends how strong and emphatic you would like to put your opinion. What, what is a stronger, Aldo or Divin Do? I, I, I have sent it a few seconds ago, right, Jarvie? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you see? Oh my Sorry. God, I will, I will kill you, man. I will kill you. <laughs> Shame on you. Come on. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, work together. Let me double check the right group. I'll be right back, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Hi. Did you finish? I don't, 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 I, I, come on. No way. Did you finish already? No, come on. All right. Aha, you were talking about something else. No way, baby. No way. That's why I'm here. Do you have any questions regarding the exercise that you're about to do? When you finish, you can talk about something else. I'm okay with that. But right now, no way. <laughs> Ay, Glendy. Mala compañía, mala compañía. Van a perder los hábitos útiles. Qué increíble. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I am working in taxes today. And... Ah, okay. Yeah. Taxes, all right. Yeah, but you can talk about taxes later on. Oh, just finish that exercise. It's only five sentences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so you see? Okay, let me double check with all the guys. I will be right back. I got my eyes on you, okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. How's it going? Good. Good? All right. Any yeah. questions so far? No? No. Okay, cool. Let me okay. double check the other guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Finish? No, actually, we have um, what? Some, some issues because... Um, some issues for what? Her microphone doesn't Hello, work. Hello, Miss. I no, have actually, problem with the audio. I can listen to you. You <laughs> cannot listen to me? No. Why you are I answering me right with now? Your, your mouth. <laughs> so, but now you cannot, you cannot listen to me. Freddy, can you listen to me? Uh, it yeah. says, su altavoz no funciona, compruebe su conexión o usa altavoz diferente. Maybe you? My microphone, I don't know. Yes, your microphone. Try it when oh, this says, what yeah. Uh huh. For example, try to change it for igual al sistema. Because when you have your microphone, you said microphone to high definition audio, igual que el sistema, and altavoz is altavoz and igual que el sistema. So you just got to change it. Try to see if this time works. For that reason, we are 
writing the, the Change answers. Change the audio, because yes. I, I didn't listen. Okay. I don't listen. You don't listen. It's really weird. But you have been listening, right? It just happened right now, I think. How we change the audio. Ah, let's see. Mm. I will see if I can if I can uh send it by your by the WhatsApp. Let's see. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ahora creo que sí, ya los escucho o no. Hello. Hablo... Ahora sí. Yeah. <laughs> It's a miracle. Did... Yeah, that's good. I didn't uh, know what I did, but. <laughs> I you just keep on click. In the... I think the teacher is yeah. the IT department right now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. The teacher has to appear. Okay. So, <laughs> thank so, you. So, no, thank you. So basically, Uh, what you gotta do is just finish the five sentences. You can use it although, even though, while, but remember that even though is when you would like to do like a stronger and emphatic opinion. Remember that? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. okay, so let's see. Mm, it's 947 until 950. Three minutes is enough. Okay. Okay, thank cool. You. No, thank you. Let me check the other guys. I'll be right back with you. Hello. Did Hi, you miss, miss me? <laughs> yeah i feel like the mask remember that did you miss me uh -huh. yeah. did you finish yeah, yeah. we finished really oh my goodness you have worked really fast hopefully you did and now you're talking about something else right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah we talking like, about talking uh, about our work work <laughs> okay so in two minutes we're going to come back okay okay, okay. All righty, so let's see right now who needs to move. Okay, let me double check the other guys. I'll be right back. Uh -huh. Apart, apart the operation. Okay, do you finish already? Yes. Okay, let's come back together. Okay. Uh-huh, you were talking about something else. <laughs> yes. Ay, body influence, come on. No, we, we, we are discussing about about the, the, we, the work. We the work. About the work. <laughs> about uh, we were talking about the uh, web page. The web page. Yes. Uh, Which web page? Julish. English. Which English? Julish. A Julish. Julish. Ah, mm -hmm. that's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. Yes. And of course, you were talking with the IT department, right? Yes, we yeah. recommend that, that uh, web page. Ash, <laughs> I knew it. He was in sus anchas, right? <laughs> All right, but no way. Time is over. Let's come back to business, okay? All righty, let's come back together, guys. Uh huh. Did you finish? Yes. I don't know. I, I gave you. I gave you more than five minutes, so that's enough. All righty. Can I have the first sentence? I mean, the second sentence in this case. And William, don't turn off your camera. <laughs> I teach it. I don't know why you only have my name in your, your tongue. I don't know why. Okay. Could you please, if you don't mind? Number one. Number two. Number one is already there. Come on. Okay. Uh, number two, while they were warned against doing so, the supervisors went ahead with the project. All right, very good. Uh, are you agree with uh, William, guys, or you do have a different option, different opinion? What do you think? I only need one more, one extra opinion. That's enough. Don't worry about that. That's okay. Everybody wants to participate, but hold your your horses. We use seven. Oh, even though or also. Uh huh. Tell me. Yes. Even though and although. Yes. Yeah, even though. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Even though. Even though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Also, that was possible as well. Okay. Number three. Uh, Francisco. Okay. Okay, just say <coughs> mm -hmm, yes. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. 
<laughs> That's okay, don't worry. All the locker. Mm -hmm. uh, experience in the field. The field, yes. I'm not sure. Uh, he become a successful businessman. Uh, he become or he became? He became. Became. Became a, he became. Su a successful businessman. Businessman. No, business. Businessman. Businessman. Yes, hombre de negocio. Negocio. businessman. Very good. You put even though what you said? No. Although. Although. Okay. Although. Although. Uh huh. Are you agree wise with Francisco? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Tell me that number four, please. Delmita. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Number four, please, if you don't mind. Um, even though uh -huh. he has been working here for six months, he never seems to know what to do. Uh huh. Very good. Are you agree with tell with her, guys? With Telma? Be sure I have a question. Can Go be things here? Sings. Yeah. We use while. No, 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 no. No, no. no sings no. Desde que él empezó a trabajar aquí de hace seis meses. No, a pesar de que. A pesar de que. Yes, exactly. Acuérdate que sings no es un adverb, no es un Desde. conjunction. Mm -hmm. oh, Very okay. good. Mm -hmm. Estamos trabajando only con although, even though, and while. That's it. Mm -hmm. Very good. No, but that's okay. That's a really valid question, Yoshi. Okay, very good. Okay. Number five. You. You're welcome. No, thank you. Number five. Erwin, could you please be so kind to help me with number five? Number five. Mm -hmm. There are many difficulties to on the time and last success. Uh-huh. So, even though. Even though. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Are you even agree though. with Erwin, guys? Even though? Yes. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Very good job, Erwin. Very good job. Excellent, my man. Very good. Uh, Kenny, no, Andresito. Andresito, can you please be so kind to read it for us? The last one. Number six. Yes, number six, please. Even though the company is one of the richest in the world, it offers the worst employee recognition system. Okay. All righty. Yes. So, are you agree with them? Are you agree with him, guys? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Good. Good job. All righty. Do you have any doubts or any ideas? No? Any questions? Ah, yes. Let me let me let you know something really, really important yes. before I go. Go ahead. Uh teacher. Uh -huh. In the number four is ah, number four, number four. Used to be sure. Uh-huh. Uh, we can use while. While. Yeah. Or no. Trata de ver el meaning de la oración. He has been uh -huh. working here for six months. Él ha estado trabajando aquí por seis meses. Pero, yes. se, pero parece que nunca sabe lo que, nunca lo que tiene que hacer. Nunca sabe. Uh -huh. He never, sí, he nunca never sabe. seems to know what to do. Uh -huh. Entonces podría decir, mientras que él ha estado mientras. trabajando, ¿crees que sería, podría hacerse mientras? Diría yo que sí, no sé. <risa> Se podría decir mientras. ¿Qué piensan ustedes, guys? ¿Se podría poner while? Ve, ve, ve el significado, Francisco. Sí, sí, sí. I guess no, because I... why can words as a conjunction better than at the beginning of a sentence. Ajá. 
podría ser older and even though. Podría ser, lo que tú quieres decir es que pese a que él lleva seis meses en la empresa, como que siempre anda este, las pues, en las nubes, right? Como que se le va la piscucha, right? Entonces, podrías decir, mientras que él tiene seis meses en la compañía, o deberías después decir, a pesar de que, o aunque. A pesar que. Ajá, entonces podrías decir, si quieres darle más énfasis a que, híjole, vea, este como que no entiende, vea, a pesar de que tiene seis meses aquí, puedes decir, even though, porque acuérdate oh, que oh. even though es más stronger and emphatic opinion. Uh -huh. ¿Te acuerdas la okay. diferencia entre even though y although? Que casi se parecen en, en el meaning, pero depende del énfasis que tú le quieras dar. Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces, It's hoy clear. sí. Hoy sí. Like yeah. water or like horchata. No, like water. Ok. All righty. Very good. Like caña rica. Like caña rica. Ok. Good. You have any doubts or any questions? No? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I don't know what caña rica is. Can you please be so kind to <laughs> educate <laughs> me? Educate me about that. I, I, the teacher was saying yes and she doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh huh. Tell my no. You were getting Tell my mixed nose? Up with some. Yes. <laughs> what? Judgment. The Mexican what? Is that, is that an alcohol beverage or no? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and ship. And ship. Like sí. muñeco. Like no. la trenzuda. Like a what? La trenzuda. La trenzuda. The cheapest yes. one is like the, is yeah. the one that... Uh... Oh my God. Chamaco, chamaco. No, no, es no muñeco. Muñeco. Chaparro. <laughs> chaparro, <laughs> chamaco. Chaparro. Eh, what? TikTok, TikTok. What is that? Then? I don't Alcohol know. 90. Oh yes, that's the worst. <laughs> like... It's kind of the same, I think. <laughs> really? Oh, I didn't know. Because I'm not that kind of girl. That's why I say bolo chuco. <laughs> ah, okay. You see, I'm learning a lot of a brand new with you guys. At least colloquial idioms. You see? Pan para mi matata, Francisco, too. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm increasing my Spanish vocabulary. Yes, canasto, right? Yeah, yeah, canasto is like the, the thing that you put over your head, right? Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, but you know what? I admire those girls and women because, to be honest with you, it's not easy to put that thing here and have an appellation. Goodness. You know which no. girls I admire? The one that, um, has in always carrying out a uh, comal. Comal? Yeah. It, they actually carry like more than 10 and they put like a, I think it's, it's like a lace or something like that. And they carry like more than 10 to sell them out. Comales? That's, yeah, that's, that's really, yeah. But which ones? May with mud? Yeah. Oh, the one Maybe. that is with metal, Kamal. No. No, I see you. that are made with mud. E wow, that is heavy. Yeah. Wow, yes, of course. I admire that too. Can you imagine what type of head you have after that? Yeah. No, yeah. Especially, especially if you are trying to sell the dot product in like a really warm, warm and hot weather. <laughs> but I know the mud is kind of fresh, right? The material. And maybe it could protect the guy of the girl from the sun, right? And everything. Not but really, because um, they mm -hmm. make like a so, like a, how can I say? I don't know, do your best. They make like a recipe of wood. Uh huh. Where they're, they're located really organized. Mm -hmm. And they actually have like a, ring that goes to their head uh -huh. and they actually they're I don't know they're like Jawalito kind of but um I, I'll send you the picture it's kind uh -huh. of hard to explain it okay that's okay no problem but I got the idea what you're talking about oh my goodness but it, yeah yeah I admire those ladies it's not easy yeah once I was trying trying to help one of them to 
put them comales in their head. <laughs> and it, it was it, difficult. Exactly. Yeah. And, you, and all, you know what? That woman, they already have a technique, right? A technique, yeah, to pull them up and put it over her. Yeah, so that, no. Okay, guys, time is over again. You imagine time 1001 is amazing. Time yeah. passes really fast and everybody say, yeah. Right? Well, no. What is no, no? Yeah, we, ah, uh, what you said, sorry? Dos horas no son suficientes. Are you sure? Yeah. <gasps> uh, that means that he loves me or he loves the club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, but thank you so much. Yeah, of course, two hours are, are not enough. But you're doing so great. Congratulations. You have improved a lot. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I will wait thank for you. your final presentation this coming Friday. Don't worry. I have, I have not forgot yes, Fernando about the communicational oh crisis management plan. Remember? I I have not yeah, forget I that. I, I don't know what you're gonna do, but you're gonna do fine. Ah, it's easy. Don't complicate your life, come on. <laughs> Fernando's like, woo. Okay, I think I already spoke with you this week, right, Fernando? What? No, okay, no. Okay. Okay, no. So everybody leave. I'm going to stay with Fernando today. Really? Bye. Yes, of course. Yes. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. This Ciao. Course hasta, I... la vista. hasta la próxima volta. Goodbye. Twice. Hurry up. Nice. Good night, Francisco. Good night, Jesse. You see? Good night, teacher. Good night. Why you open your microphone? <laughs> Hey, how you doing, my man? How you guys? How's your work doing? So far, so good? Fine. How's your family? Is okay? Your baby? Yeah? Uh, I, don't, I don't have babies. You don't yet. have babies? Not even no. animals? Ah, oh, yes, I have a dog. Ah, you see? So that's your baby. Your baby dog. Yeah. Yes. Ah, Is it a big dog? A middle one? A tiny one? It's a middle. It's a middle. What, what pedigree? What type of dog is it? It's a... Uh, mestizo? It's mixed. Mix, it's a mix, yes. B between what? Uh, my wife and I, we don't know. You what don't know kind exactly of... what? No. It's, it's, but it's not a criollo? Yes, it's, it's, a it's, it's maybe it's a combination of pitbull with another race. Oh. That is the with suspect, but we, uh -huh. we don't know really. Uh, but you know what? <gasps> but his people is not middle. It's not middle. It's kind no, of middle. No, it's, it's that is that is 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 middle. Is I don't know like what this. kind it's of like, like this. No, no, no. It's 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 thin. It's thin. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's interesting. With with uh, how. How do you the say? eyes are, are are the eyes are what uh green with color color eyes yes with uh -huh. color uh, like a pig ball and the nose too is is like a a, a rose uh, pink like, pink okay. uh -huh. in color pink one. uh huh in and one the, of them the, is the hair is, is uh -huh. brown it's brown ah oh, okay I have an idea oh my god it will be beautiful you know what i have a, a friend who is similar to that a, a dog friend of course <laughs> his name is mushu and the name of my dog is Zeus. Zeus, really oh my god respect it's a god's name yes, the, Great god's name. The... Oh, is it nearby what is he nearby nearby is what, it close to means? you ah Yes, uh, but the, mm. before married with my wife, uh, the, the, the dog belongs to her. Uh -huh. So when we married, we, we did, did, she, she brings the she dog. She brought the dog. She brought the dog with, with us. Uh -huh. No, I just want to know if, if the dog right now is close to you. Ah, no, no. Ah. He, he is in the, in the gar garden. In the garden. In the garden. In the back it's, one or is the front yard? In the background. Ah, okay. Oh, maybe tomorrow I can see that baby. Yes, and he 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 has uh, him. Uh, what do you say? Propio, her own. His sofa. own. His own sofa. Yes. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> or canapé if you want to say it in French. Really? 
Yes, he sleeps in, in that couch. <laughs> really? He sleeps over it? Oh my God. Yes, over the, the couch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, you know what? He clearly, he clearly identifies and, and as the name that he has, Zeus. Yes, every day we have to, to, to walk with him. Now. Uh -huh. To take him every out day. of a walk. Yes, every day when oh, I, yes. I, came, I came home. Uh -huh. the, the first thing I have to do is walk the dog. I uh, really, I think he was, he was like this, waiting for you, right? Yes, he, oh. he always is excited when I came home. Ah, of course, because he already knows yes, what yes. you're gonna do, right? So I yes. think you already have in mind the daily routine for him. Yes, every oh. day. And Only once a day you take him out, or, or, or also early in the morning. Uh, only only on weekend we twice twice. Aha, uh -huh, yes, because I think is your wife cannot do it right alone. Yes, uh, it's because uh, when uh, in my our previous home, uh -huh. we we walk twice a day. Ah, you know? okay. But in this in this. This home, uh, we we have more or less a month. A living, month, yes, less here. than a month. I remember that. Yeah, yes, I, but yeah. She she doesn't like to to write to because she doesn't know the, At the, the place. place. Uh huh. Yes, of course. So, she feels a little bit insecure. Yes. Uh -huh. that, that is yeah, because of course, and she's on her right. Wait, where with you? She's like, I got my bodyguard next <laughs> to me, so so she feels more protected. Yes. Very yes, good. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, tell me something. How do you feel so far right now with all the topics, with everything that we have seen with the exercise? How do you feel? Uh, to, be honest. To, to, to be honest, I I am a little fair. I think un poco de miedo. Fear fear. Yes. Why? Because I I I feel that I am moving on. With, with the with the courses, but I I feel like a a little stuck with some with my my learning. For example, uh, the the problem uh, the problem is the time because I don't have time to be honest. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. I need to practice more. Uh, always always on me. No no you or the or the course. I uh -huh. have I, I know that I have I have to dedicate more time to to learn. Mm -hmm. but I don't have time, but I, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult. I know it's difficult, mm -hmm. but you're doing your best and you're putting an extra mile, which is I, good. I tried, I tried to. Yes, and it seems like, because it's really weird, weird, weird that you have missed one class. It's really weird. Only yes, when, that, that, when you move uh, or when you have your anniversary. It's like, congratulations. <laughs> yes, uh, it's saying it now, but I know that I have to to practice more because, uh, for example, my 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 bigger objective was buy buy a house, but I have the house. I I changed my objective and I want to to work for a company uh, from US at least. Mm -hmm. that and that's my, good. And that is my my objective. Your your goal. Yeah, my, my biggest goal right um, now is, is, that, is that maybe you have put basically like a time frame to do that, right? Time frame to do that, but there there will be like prior small steps that you need to take in order to reach that goal. Yes, the, the problem is only the the thing because maybe the, the the knowledge the the technique knowledge I I have the technique knowledge mm -hmm. for I can see for that. working for working for, but because the, in my area always there, there are standards uh -huh. the standards is the same around the world the language is the same in the u.s or europe and all i need the language to communicate for for a team in a team to to uh, ask for apply to to a position and have interviews on english uh -huh. and but everything related to technical things right yes okay uh, that's what yes. i want to know Everything, any everything related to your area. That's what I need to know. Basically, basically, but I have to express or 
uh, is, is very is very important the communication in in a development 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 team. Mm -hmm. That that is uh, that is why uh, they uh, require uh, uh, at least uh, eighty five percent at least eighty five percent of English. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you something. At the beginning of the model and right now, so far, how do you feel? Do you feel that you have improved just a little bit? Yes, I, 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 it is because it is because we practicing every day. We are mm -hmm. practicing every day, and that is important for me because it's not the same. For example, that part that where we wear hat where for for holidays, uh -huh. maybe it is is in is in help for me because I need to practice every day. That is the the most important for me. Mm -hmm. I do understand, but let me ask you. I remember that the previously one on one session that we had, you said, "Teacher, I just read, and then after I read, you need to correct me my pronunciation." May I ask you? Yes. Have have, you, have I improved in that area? Uh. Yes, uh, that is because I try when you you ask me for reading, mm -hmm. I try to to pro pronounce the the right words when I am reading. Mm -hmm. and you have improved your reading. Congratulations. Yes, I know I have to to to, to learn more vocabulary. Of I, course. I, I said it. always. I said that. <laughs> Don't worry, that is part of the process, but that's what you're here for. But you learned a new vocabulary today. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And you will learn more tomorrow than tomorrow. Remember that we, the last day is going to be in a couple of days. That means on yes. Friday we say bye bye. Oh my God. Yes, I know. And that, that is because I, uh, I, I have, I, I am afraid. I'm afraid, yes. Yes, because. The next step is uh, advanced one, and I may, for to be honest, I I don't feel like a an a advancing student. Don't worry, okay, they're going to evaluate it, and I will try to help you. We'll try to send you directly information that I know is going to help you to increase your vocabulary, to increase your vocabulary in your areas or in the areas that you think or you, you would like to apply. It. Yes, uh, maybe uh -huh. oh, yeah. I had I, I I am planning, for example, in mm -hmm. six or month or mm -hmm. a year, mm -hmm. uh, maybe st start to, to apply to mm -hmm. apply uh, new, uh, in, I I I will try I will try, but uh, we have to to be stable for a couple of months because of <laughs> I I need the, I need the, I need keep calm because. Uh, I expand a lot of a lot of money for all the process. And of course, of course, yes, but it's worth I it. I need a stability. Of course, yes, definitely, definitely. And also, you know what? Sometimes we are we would like to do many things at the same time, and we ended up doing nothing because we would we are in like like an octopus doing many things at the same time. So just so, some, just focus on one thing. Yes. Uh, sometimes that is a problem too mm -hmm. because uh, I have extra work. Uh, mm -hmm. I have yeah, extra I work some it. some days, and that is uh, an extra official work now mm -hmm. for my my job. My extra job is extra official, and that is I have to do that because mm -hmm. it's extra extra money for of me. Course. <laughs> yeah, that will help our family, of course. I understand that because that had happened to my husband when we used to be in IT or an HP. I know that. Yes, and I reject mm -hmm. a lot of projects sometimes <laughs> because I don't have time. I don't have time. Yeah. I know. And you don't have to overwhelm yourself. Because, for example, if you have a lot of things to do at the same time, you will end up doing, you will not complete all of them. Or if you do, you will not do it good. Yes, that, that is, for example, um, when I, I, I worked, my previous work was in mm -hmm. Ironman. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course. I was working like as a sourcing employee. Uh -huh. But I, I, all the work that I did was for for day. Uh -huh. uh, so the uh, a couple of months after I leaving my 
my my previous job mm -hmm. the, the 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 chief uh, called me for extra extra work uh, uh, extra official work uh -huh. and i i i reject because i i, I said uh, i leave my job in in the better in how do you say in the mejores terminus in the better in the better way in the best way in the, in the best way and i i don't i know that i don't have time i said i don't have time and i i don't do the the, the same quality the same mm -hmm. give give they the same quality or in my work and i of prefer <laughs> said not <laughs> no of course you, you need to be humble and to see whether, whether you can do it or not right Yes. All righty. No, but I really appreciate it, all the extra effort that you're doing. You see, it's worth it. Maybe sometimes it's a little bit sacrifice for not only for you, for everybody, yes. even your wife, right? Yeah. Yes. But you'll see that it's worth it. I know that you're tired and maybe you haven't had your dinner. Or maybe oh, yes. God. Yes. Uh, you did every, already? every day I, I you have, dinner, have at dinner at 7 p.m. Ah, that is okay. a routine for me. <laughs> As a daily routine. Okay. And the salutaris is the last thing, right? Uh, not every day, but <laughs> maybe <laughs> three or, or twice a week. <laughs> okay. If if I see you face to face one time, I will bring you one salutary as a gift. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's sad to say goodbye. So thank you so much for being here. Hugs and Bye. kisses. Good Have night. a lovely night. Good night. Say hi to your wife. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay.